Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, whale watching. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Now, occasionally on this channel, we like to do a bit of whale watching, where we look to see what are some of the larger players in the space doing in terms of their Bitcoin stack. Now, normally, the first thing we do is we check in on whale number three. However, as the saying goes, there's always a bigger fish in the sea. And unfortunately for whale number three, they have now been demoted to whale number four. Now, one of the things that you might be curious about is why do we talk about whales number three and four and not one and two? Well, whale number one is just the Binance cold wallet, and whale number two is the Bitfinex cold wallet. And if you actually go click on these uh, addresses, you can see, I mean, there is some activity. For instance, the Binance cold wallet saw almost 13,000 Bitcoin go out back in January of 2022. But since then, there hasn't really been a whole lot going on in that wallet. So we were not going to spend a ton of time talking about, about these cold wallets. But what's interesting is we don't really know who some of these other addresses belong to. I mean, there's, of course, there's speculation as to who they belong to. And, and even, you know, you could, you could try to find all the evidence that you want. But there is no clear, you know, proof that whale number three is anyone in particular. We simply do not know who it is, even if we think there's, you know, a good chance it could be, uh, a, a specific person or an entity or whoever it may be. We really just don't know. Now, again, as I said before, whale number three has been demoted to whale number four. We will first check in on the new whale number four, who again used to be whale number three. So remember, whale number four is who we used to call whale number three. Now, one of the interesting, one of the interesting things about this whale is that, you know, they do tend to see inflows and outflows um, you know, following certain types of, of price action. And like you and me, I mean, they, they don't always get it correct, but they do have a good, you know, a, a fairly good track history or track record, I should say, of trying to, uh, at least we see inflows come in after price dumps and some outflows go out after the price pumps, but it's not always that case. It's not always that case. And sometimes they'll sell and then the price will just keep going up or sometimes they'll buy and then the price will just keep going down. Um, but with that said, if we just provide a, a very brief background on whale number three, you know, they, they've been accumulating Bitcoin, uh, you know, for, for quite a long period of time. I mean, if you, if you look at the chart uh, at, the, at the top of the page, you'll see that really they started accumulating Bitcoin back in early 2019 when the price of Bitcoin was, you know, I mean, only, only a few thousand dollars. And, and the blue line shows you that the, the amount of Bitcoin that they hold has been increasing, not monotonically. Of course, they sometimes do. Um, see some outflows. And I will remind you that just because you see an inflow or an outflow doesn't necessarily mean it's a buy or a sell. Sometimes it might just be transferring it out and then transferring it back in. But again, as I'll show, there does seem to be some activity uh, associated with changes in price. For instance, if you go look at, at some recent um, movements in the price, and if we you know, just go take a look, you know, back in late March, they were fairly convinced, you know, that this was ultimately uh, just a sucker's rally. And then we talked about that too, right? We said, look, Bitcoin's putting in higher lows, but it's a bear market. And so that higher low will likely eventually break. And I, I, I assume that this person also thought that it would eventually break as well, because you can see at 41K, it took out about 1500 Bitcoin. And then at 44K, they took out another 1500. And then they kept doing it at 46K, another 1500. And then at 46K again, another 3000 Bitcoin. And then they, they did bring in some uh, fairly quickly, but then you can see a lot of their accumulation, these small DCAs, if you want to call them that, started back at around forty-two to $40,000 or so. Okay, so we see that type of um, movements occur sometime. Again, here's 1,500 out at 41.4, and then they started picking it back up at once it went right below 40K. So if you are a large, uh, you know, a large holder of Bitcoin, and and you can and and you can you know trade in and out and, and perhaps you can increase your stack. Why not, right? I mean, this is what they're doing. Um, more than likely, as as time goes on, and you can see again the amount of Bitcoin that they own has slowly increased with time. Now, as of today, they currently have one hundred and twenty nine thousand one hundred and five point five four Bitcoin in their in their address, which is quite a lot of Bitcoin. So even though it sounds like a lot to be transferring out fifteen hundred Bitcoin it still represents a relatively small portion of their stack. I mean, 1,500 Bitcoin 
if, you know, is 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 an astronomical amount of Bitcoin for most people in the world, right? For like most people, fifteen hundred Bitcoin is a lot, but for this for this whale, I mean, it it, it represents you know a little more than one percent of their entire holding, right? I mean, you know, fifteen. I mean, if if they have one hundred twenty nine thousand Bitcoin, then then um, you know, twelve point nine k Bitcoin would would be you know would be essentially ten percent. So one point two nine thousand Bitcoin would be would be one percent. So it's a little over one percent of their entire holding. Whenever you see fifteen hundred Bitcoin go out, now interestingly enough, they they took they took fifteen hundred Bitcoin out here at thirty k, and then they brought twelve hundred back in. But another 500 out at 30k, and then you can see over the last several days they've been putting in small amounts again, like 425 here, 488, 214, 305. So again, as we showed, just because they start buying or just because they start selling doesn't necessarily mean the price is going to reverse immediately. But they will have that conviction for a while, and they'll do something until the price does go their way, and then they'll you'll probably see some outflows. Okay, so let's go back and and take a look because that was well number three. Who, or that's well number four, who used to be well number three. So who who's well number three? Well, I don't know. I don't know who they are, but they currently hold 135,381 Bitcoin, which is, you know, a little more than 6,000 Bitcoin from old well number three. So again, there is now a bigger fish in the sea. And if you go look at this wall or at this address, it's sort of all over the place. So I'm not even going to try to understand exactly what's going on here. But if you look at the chart, you can see that more or less this this wallet held closer to, I mean, between 10 to 50 thousand Bitcoin off and on, um, and then only recently it has just shot up an astronomical amount. I don't know who this who this is. I don't know if it's an institution or a person or maybe it is. I mean, it could be could be something could be something else. I don't I don't really know. Um, but there are a lot of transactions going on in this wallet, and it and it very recently shot up from around 10, 11,000 Bitcoin on June thirteenth up to where it is today. And, and if you go look at, at some, let's go to um, some of these recent transactions. I mean, you can see there is some Bitcoin going out, but then you'll just have a ton of Bitcoin coming in. Uh, you know, like 700, 800, 700, 700, 1600, 800, 700, 600. I mean, it just it's a lot of Bitcoin going in. Not a lot going out, right? But a, a significant amount coming in. So we do now have a new whale number three. Okay, so whale number three now refers to this address, at least for the time being. Uh, and our old whale number three is in fact whale number four. Now there are some other addresses that we we do like to talk about occasionally, right? It's always worthwhile to talk about some other addresses. And and you know I'm not just going to show you the ones that are accumulating because it's not it's not really. Um, uh, you know, showing you the full picture, there are certainly some addresses that have been selling, right, or at least transferring Bitcoin out. And again, you you can't necessarily know if these represent sells just by looking at this uh, at this table. But you can see that this this whale here, once upon a time, had had you know quite a lot of Bitcoin here. You can see at the top they had around thirty three thousand Bitcoin. But over the last couple of months, they've just been slowly transferring it out. So. You know, there are some whales that accumulate. There are some whales that sort of trade back and forth. And then there are some that it just seems like they've lost most of their conviction in it and have just been systematically transferring Bitcoin out for, for the last couple of months with, with occasionally bringing some in. Um, but if you look at the blue line here, you can see that their total amount of Bitcoin has just been a, in, a, in a relatively, um, you know, slow downtrend, right? Uh, from where it was just, you know, and th this is actually just showing the last, I mean, from here, it was just about a, a month and a half or so ago, uh, it's been it's been slowly going down. Now, if we were to continue, you know, again, there were some some addresses that we previously talked about that that ha that basically started to accumulate Bitcoin at the bottom in 2018. And then, if I if I just click on uh, an example, you can see they have 9,900 Bitcoin in here. And and essentially, actually, that one's not uh, the best example because I want to get ones that also accumulated recently. Like for instance, this one. You can see that they bought the bottom in December of 2018, and then they recently, um, then they bought sort of the local bottom in July, and then they bought again in mid-May. But you know, at around 30,000, at least there's an inflow in mid-May, and and then, and since then now we're at now we're at 20k. So again, I mean, like in December, they they didn't time it exactly, but they got it to within 10, 20 percent or something like that. Um, this time, uh, you know, it, it does look like they they maybe came in just a bit too soon. On, on some of this stuff. And again, I mean, you know, I, I think with the sort of the macro outlook right now, um, 
you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin is obviously a, a risk asset and risk assets don't really do that well uh, during phases like this. OK, but again, you know, some of these guys, if they have multi year outlooks, they probably don't really care. Um, and, and maybe you'll see more Bitcoin come into these wallets over the over the coming months. I don't I don't really know. Um, but again, I mean, a relatively small amount added compared to, you know, their initial ad back in 2018. I mean, in 2018, you can see that they, they really brought in like 6,000 or no, this is 8,000. I mean, this is like oh, over 5,000, around 5,000 Bitcoin. Um, maybe not quite. Uh, let's see, because I mean, they, they brought in some here also, I guess, in, um, no, these are, these are relatively uh, zero. Um, so it looks like, it looks like they brought in, let's see, 5,400, 1,800, so um, 200, 600, 800, 26, so, so around um, 8,000 Bitcoin um, in this, in a relatively short period of time. And I guess it actually, I guess it just adds it up for you right here, the total balance. Um, but you can see that they didn't really do anything, right? This is 8,000 Bitcoin relatively quickly, and they didn't do anything until the summer of 2021 where they started adding a small amount. But again, the amounts they've added in the summer of 2021, and then even recently, even though it's like several hundred Bitcoin, it's still not nearly as much as they initially added, which was around 8,000, because even after the recent additions, they still they still have less than 10,000 Bitcoin when their initial stack was about, about 8,000 um, several years ago, okay? So uh, there's a lot of wallets that look like that. You can see all of them right here. They have like 9,873 Bitcoin in them. They probably all belong to the same person. If you were to add up all these wallets, it would probably give whale number three a run for their money. Um, but regardless, it is something that we we have followed. And there's also some other uh, addresses that have have done some similar types of things that have not, you know, that bought once upon a time and they bought in the summer of 2021, but not hasn't haven't done really a whole lot since. For instance, here's some wallets that have uh, look relatively similar, right? 8,000 Bitcoin in, uh, close to the bottom in 2018, and and it hasn't really done anything since. So you know, when you look at these types of things, and we know that Bitcoin had hit a macro bottom in in December of 2018. There were a lot of addresses that started accumulating then. I mean, look at look at all these. This is first in. Look at all these addresses that their first in was in December of 2018. There's a lot of them that look like that. So you'd be looking for something like that again to hopefully play out in order to help us identify Bitcoin's new market cycle bottom. But, you know, I, I think that's probably enough whale watching for one day. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you do, leave a, leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And, and remember, too, you can check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. You can lock in the lower rate. You'll get access to weekly videos. We have three premium videos each week, um, the weekly report, the website. We have on-chain stuff, social statistics, derivatives data, ROI data, all sorts of stuff. Check it out. Lock in the lower rate. Thank you guys for tuning in. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.